Hi, this is Nathan at Rain Networks. Thanks for joining me today for our third video in our Getting Started with the ESET Cloud Security Management Center. In our first video, we covered the dashboard and how to look at your license. Uh, in our second video, we covered installers. In this third video, we're going to look at the computer section and the things that we can do inside this computer section to manage our ESET software. So in our last video, you might remember that we loaded the agent on a machine. Uh, and so now that we've loaded the agent in the endpoint software, this is how the machine looks when it shows up in the computer section. When we click on this machine, we get a number of actions. Like for example, we can quickly initiate a scan. Uh, we can update ESET with one click. We can have the machine reboot. This is kind of handy. Uh, maybe somebody calls you uh, that, and needs you to fix the machine and you just know that the machine needs a reboot. We can literally just initiate that right from here. In a lot of ways, this ESET Security Management Center uh, is like a uh, kind of like a, what we would call an RMM tool or a remote management tool that's very common with MSPs. So this is kind of a mini version of an RMM tool. So there's a lot of cool things that we can do in here. Okay, we can access the same things here by check, putting a checkbox next to the machine and clicking on the actions menu. This is very key if we wanted to do these actions on a number of machines or even on an entire folder's worth of machines all at one time. Let's say we had 10 machines in here and we wanted all 10 of these machines to run a scan right now. We could do this action at the folder level and all the machines in that folder would take this action. Okay. The next thing I want to show is the task operation. Now you might remember in my video on, on installers, we used a task to run a software install task to push out ESET. In this case, let's look at some of the other things we can do in the task operation. Okay, so first of all, we can do things like an operating system update. This can be kind of handy if like Microsoft releases an update, you want all your, your machines to go get that update right away we can do an operating system update task to tell the machine to go install Windows updates. Uh, we can run a product activation task. This is really handy in the case where we need to send a machine a license. We would click on product activation, click continue, choose the license that we want to send to the machine, and it would send the license out. Okay, this is a really handy uh, uh, task. I did a separate video just on how to do this. Um, check out our YouTube channel for that. Some of the other neat things that we can do in here, I love this run command task. So basically imagine you're sitting in front of this machine at the run box, okay? And so we're working on a remote machine here. We want to remotely execute a task that we could run from the run box. We can literally do that with ESET uh, remotely. So this can be really nice. Um, we see people map network drives, uh, add printers with batch files, so all kinds of different things that you can do with the run command. So anyways, this task operation is uh, super key to uh, doing kind of automating tasks. As we get deeper into the uh, wizard here, we can uh, schedule all of these. So we can create a task and then create a time for it to run later or on like a daily, weekly, monthly basis. So really nice, the task option is really cool. The other thing uh, I want to show is as you get multiple machines in here, you're going to want to keep them organized, okay? This is done usually by creating folders over here. The way that we make folders is we click on our main folder where our company name is. We click on the gear option, and a static group is ESET terminology for a folder. So I'm going to make a new static group, and I'm going to make a new folder here. We'll just call it Folder 3 and click Finish, and you can see that I've made another folder here down at the bottom. Now let's say I wanted to take this machine and have it appear in this folder. I can literally just pick up the machine and drag and drop it, just like you're moving a Word document in Windows Explorer, and now the machine will appear down in the, the new folder that I created. So any object that you see here is a drag and droppable item. Okay, the other thing I'll um, point out here is up here at the top, you've got filtering options. So if you want to filter on like machines uh, that are Let's say I don't have any machines having problems, but if you click on, say, this error uh, icon up at the top, it'll just show you machines that have errors or machines that have warnings. Um, if you click on the green one here, it'll just show you machines that are okay. So these filtering options up at the top are kind of handy. You can add other filters here, like if you wanted to filter on machines that just have a specific name or whatnot, um, these filter options are really handy. 
okay? So this is kind of the key things to know inside the computer's screen. I want to just again point out when you click on the machine, you've got the context menu, you've got the task option, you can make folders, and then the objects are drag and droppable between folders. All right, come back in uh, video number four. We're going to go through the detection section and the report section.